Listen, good morning to you. God is good. We are alive. Bad news. Bad news. I just don't understand why people like to carry bad news. I wish there was a radio station or a TV place uh, that had uh, going for them on a daily basis only good news. Bad news seems to be the thing of the day. In fact, somebody told me uh, that good news does not sell. So the people who major in news making, they go and they search for bad news. Well, I don't like that. Uh, in fact, nowadays too, uh, with the coming of these modern devices and technology, what happens is that if there's an accident on the side of the road, uh, I've heard and seen with my own eyes an injured person in the vehicle and somebody comes with a device and tries to videotape the person and want to put that on social media as quick as possible. The person in pain, you know, instead of, they, they try to help get the person help. They, 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 they prefer to capture bad news by video and send it around the globe. Uh, for me, if you have bad news to tell me and you have to, well, go ahead. But if you don't have to, keep it to yourself, man. Enjoy yourself with your bad news. Keep it to yourself if you don't have to tell me. Uh, but I must confess, eh? don't tell anybody I said that. Eh? Bad news disturbs my anatomy. Yeah, bad news does cause me to have to go to the toilet. Bad news uh, does cause me to lose appetite and puts my body under stress. So keep your bad news to yourself if you don't have to tell me, okay? But let me switch. Uh, in spite the fact that there's a lot of bad news, especially during this coronavirus time, and other diseases also, let me please interject here that Jesus Christ and his coming, the first coming as a babe and dying on the cross of Calvary, and then his promise in John chapter 14 to return is good news. The gospel is about good news. Uh, the gospel is about Luke uh, chapter 19 and verse 9, uh, which says, And Jesus said unto him, This day, talking to uh, Zacchaeus, is salvation come to this house for as much as he also is the son of Abraham. And this is the pivotal text about good news. For uh, the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. The good news of salvation says uh, that even though I am condemned uh, because of sin, uh, Jesus Christ came and he died on the cross of Calvary to give me a second chance. And the invitation, the good news invitation is, you do not have to clean up your life before coming to Jesus Christ. No! He died for you and for me. A boy, girl, man, woman, young person, old person. This is the good news. Uh, and the invitation is, come to Jesus Christ. Uh, the invitation for good news uh, and the call uh, for you to accept and experience good news uh, comes from Revelation chapter 22 and verse 7. Uh, 17, 22, 17 Revelation. And the spirit and the bride say, come. That's the final chapter in the Bible, you know. Beautiful chapter. And let him that heareth say, come. And let him that is a thirst for salvation, that is, come and whosoever will whosoever put your own name a charles or judy or travis or jane or whoever put your own name whosoever will the good news invitation is for you and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely so the good news invitation is that salvation is free of charge no cost 
no cost to us, but it costs Jesus Christ his blood. So again, I say, there's a lot of bad news in the world, but Jesus Christ majors in good news. Please accept him wherever you are as Lord and Savior of your life. Because when you accept the good news invitation, there is eternal life and salvation for you. Our God and Father, thanks ever so much for your goodness towards us. Bless your people this morning and help them not to focus only on the bad news of the virus and disease and death and damnation and sin and its consequences, but help them to focus on the fact that even though man sinned, God, the God of good news, sent Jesus Christ to die for them. So let them come accept the good news call and come and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you.